What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Jarrence coming at y'all with another video, man. And in last video, I reacted straight after I got the news on my phone that Demarcus Cousins decided to sign a one-year, $5.3 million deal with the Golden State Warriors. Now, for those of you casual fans that don't understand, because in the last video I made, and I like the I like the conversation that everybody's having in my comment section in the last video, but what I'm saying right here is that what a lot of you casual fans don't understand is that DeMarcus Cousins is not worth $5.3 million. He's actually worth a lot more than that, but due to the fact that he just came off of an injury, a lot of teams were hesitant of signing him, and that's perfectly fine. That is perfectly fine that teams are hesitant to sign him because of the fact that he's coming off of an ACL injury. If you guys don't know, Kobe Bryant came off an ACL injury and he was never the same player. He was playing at a high level and once he injured his ACL, like his career was basically over after that. So with that being said, teams did try to get DeMarcus Cousins. For those of you, so for those of you who are saying that nobody tried to get DeMarcus Cousins, you're actually wrong and you don't know what the hell you're talking about. One team that I can give you a couple teams, the Portland Trailblazers. The Portland Trailblazers were in the in the works of doing a sign and trade, meaning they were going to trade for um, Demarcus Cousins. The reason that didn't work out was because Demarcus Cousins and the Portland Trailblazers center, Joseph Nurkic, they both shared the same agent, so it was just impossible for that deal to work out. If they had the same agent, the agent would want would not want the two players to be traded for each other. So the Portland Trailblazers deal fell off from Demarcus Cousins. The Boston Celtics were in the runnings to get him, but I guess contract negotiations didn't go as he wanted. And um, the Lakers, we were able to get him too, but they didn't. I can. I'm, I'm even tell you guys right here, right now. So we could have had. Okay. So for those of you that are saying that Boogie Cousins wasn't offered any anybody, like no one was offering him, so he just decided to go to Golden State for the minimum, a veteran's contract. If you guys don't know, a veteran's contract, that's like something that like a Ray Allen would have signed, like a sharpshooter, like when my, when LeBron was in Miami those days. That's the kind of money that those kind of players would take. A player of DeMarcus Cousins of his caliber is like a max player. But due to the injury, a lot of teams were hesitant to offer him the money, so a lot of contract negotiations didn't go as planned. But the Pelicans did offer DeMarcus Cousins a two-year, $40 million deal. Basically meaning probably this would have been his... He Look, on a two-year deal, most players, they're able to opt out after the first year so they can um, enter free agency again and start to talk to new teams or resign again with their current team. So DeMarcus Cousins would have been making $20 million. Now, $20 million... That's not that's not even worth what Demarcus Cousins is. It's a little bit less than that. Um, Demarcus Cousins is actually worth like around at this day and age, he's probably worth thirty million dollars a year, right? But since he got injured, nobody wants to invest that much money into him coming off of an injury like that. It's just a smart way, unless he was under contract, which he wasn't. Teams are not going to be quick to do that. So the, the Pelicans offered him a two-year, forty million dollar deal to where he could show everybody in the NBA that he was still able to play at a high level or just prove himself to the NBA that he still can play at a high high level basically that's if he declined that from what I'm seeing right here um Boogie turned down two years 40 million offer from Pelicans before season ended New Orleans then took deal off the table so Boogie turned on the deal Lakers LA passed on signing Boogie at a price similar to Warriors deal so I don't know me being, and let me just get this out the way really quickly, because I seen somebody say that last video too. Somebody had the nerve to say that I'm not a Lakers fan, and it's like, it's expected, and I don't blame that person that much for saying that because a lot of there's a lot of bandwagon fans, even with the Warriors, there's a lot of bandwagon fans. But if I was really a real NBA bandwagon fan, don't you think I would just be a fan of the freaking Golden State Warriors? You know what I'm saying? But right here, man, I have nothing to lie for. These are some trading cards right here that I literally put up on my picture frame, not my picture frame, but my on mirror frame, Kobe Bryant right there, that's Kobe Bryant, throwback Kobe Bryant when he wore a jersey number eight, Kobe Bryant at the All-Star game, this was his last All-Star game, he got voted in, won the MVP, everybody voted for him, Shaquille O'Neal, Shaquille O'Neal on the cover, 2K18, I decided to keep these, usually people just throw these away or just throw them in the basket or something, they don't really care about it, I'm a Lakers fan, got the Legend Edition Kobe right here. Got the Kobe poster on my wall. The Shaq one's next to it, but you can barely see it. 
But basically, my point is, I'm a Lakers fan. So for those that were trying to say that I'm not a Lakers fan, please just stop. That you make no sense. You look stupid. But anyways, like I was saying, bro. Um, just really, I can't understand why the Lakers did not take DeMarcus Cousins for so little money. I understand that we're trying to get another max player. But we've already signed a bunch of mid-level players for that kind of money or a little bit less than that. Actually, we signed a Rajon Rondo for one year, nine million. So you mean to tell me the Lakers decided to decline the fact that they could have picked up DeMarcus Cousins? I don't understand what kind of meeting they had with DeMarcus Cousins. So these are just reports coming from Bleacher Report. And like, so I don't know what's true and what's not true. But supposedly we had a meeting with him or whatever. And like they declined for him to play on the Lakers for one year, 5.3 million. So the Golden State Warriors decided to take that up. And it's just a really bad look on DeMarcus Cousins, man. It's a really bad look on him. The fact that he would sit there and decide to go play for the Warriors, a team that already won three championships and just went back to back to back. My fingers are bugging. Back to back. They just went back to back. He decided to sign with them. This is worse than Kevin Durant. You know what I'm saying? This is worse. Because of the fact that Kevin Durant, when he left the Oklahoma City Thunder, the year that they had a 3-1 lead and they blew it to the Warriors, that was a really bad move. He left the Thunder and he went to the Warriors, right? The same team that he blew a 3-1 lead to. But when Kevin Durant went there, he did do his job. He did his job. He put in the work. Obviously, it was going to be a lot easier for him because of the fact that it's Kevin Durant. And if you're playing with Steph Curry and Klay Thompson, the best shooting backcourt in NBA history... The floor is going to open up more for you because you can't just focus on Kevin Durant the entire time. You have to worry about Steph Curry and Klay Thompson because they will spray you for about 60 to 50 points. Literally, they can they can put 60 to 50 points up. Klay Thompson scored 60 before. Steph Curry scored 50 before. They're automatic. So, um, Kevin Durant did his job. He he went to the uh, to the Warriors, got the Finals MVP, played out of his mind, and that's that. Last um the season that just passed. Kevin Durant went out of his mind again. He got the Finals MVP, back-to-back -back Finals MVPs. DeMarcus Cousins is just not going to be able to do that. They're not going to need him to do that, even if he was even if he was healthy. You know what I'm saying? They're they're perfectly fine without DeMarcus Cousins. He's not going to put in that same work that Kevin Durant did. If they get to the final, even if DeMarcus Cousins was healthy, he wouldn't get the Finals MVP. It'd be between Steph Curry and and, and Kevin Durant. You know what I'm saying? It did the, like the offense would just surround them the most. So, it's just a really bad move for DeMarcus Cousins. And he's talking about that's his chess move and teams didn't want him. Sure, you were offered two You were offered two years for $40 million, That means $20 million a year from the Pelicans. But you didn't want to take it because I guess you wanted more money than that. But you wanted more money than that. And then you ended up signing for way less than that on a Warriors team that literally doesn't need you. So, that's just a really bad move. Um, And then, onto, those, onto the fans... That are saying that LeBron James started this. You guys need to do your his. You guys need to take a look into your history because, first of all, there were super teams before LeBron. You know what I'm saying? When when Kevin Garnett, a Hall of Famer, Paul Pierce, a Hall of Famer, and Ray Allen, a Hall of Famer, all joined on the same team, nobody wasn't talking about super teams. Now I don't know if this was because of the fact that social media wasn't really that lit in 2008 because it really wasn't. But it's like now that LeBron went to Miami, mind you, when LeBron went to Miami, that was a team that literally was kept get, like they kept getting knocked out of the first round. They only had Dwayne Wade, and even Dwayne Wade said he was tired of losing in the first round. So they decided to get Chris Bosh from another team from the Toronto Raptors, and LeBron James from the Cavaliers, and they all joined up. Okay, they all joined up. It's not like they won championships before that. Dwayne Wade had won one championship, and that was years. That was four years ago. Four years before that, they joined up in Miami with that with that team, right? Four years ago was uh, aging Shaq, and that was the last time he went to the finals. After that, he kept getting knocked out of the first round, so he wasn't having any success. Now on to Kevin Durant. He went to a team that he blew a three-one lead to, right? Not only that, but that exact team already won a championship w without Kevin Durant, right? And they went seventy-three and nine. So that's just a worse move by LeBron by um by Kevin Durant. LeBron James doing Dwayne Wade. Dwayne Wade never won an MVP, right? Dwayne Wade never won an uh, MVP. Okay, Dwayne Wade is he's an all-time great shooting guard. Yes, but when you compare the two, Stephen Curry is gonna go down as one of the greatest point guards. Same as Dwayne Wade, one of the greatest shooting guards. But Steph Curry. 
back-to-back -back MVP, the greatest shooter in NBA history. They did not need Kevin Durant, so it was a really bad move to me, man. And I don't know what else to say, man. Like, I'm a little, obviously I'm more calm. Yesterday I was really pissed off because of the fact that Kevin Durant really, not even Kevin Durant, but the fact that DeMarcus Cousins really joined the team. So now we got the Splash Bros and Steph Curry and Klay Thompson because I still have respect for them. You know what I'm saying? Then you have Draymond Green, a.k.a. Donkey Kong in the face looking ass nigga. And then you have the Snake Bros and Kevin Durant and DeMarcus Cousins. Wow, man. And if you guys didn't know, literally, literally, there is seven, not five, but seven All-Stars on the Golden State Warriors. I'm going to confirm this right now. I know my basketball. I'm going to confirm this right now so you guys don't think I'm stupid. You guys can go look this up yourself, too. Andre Iguodala, right? Half of you probably don't even know who that is, the casual basketball fans. Andre Iguodala, All-Star, right? He made the All-Star team. I don't have to look at it. All-Star team. Andre Iguodala made the All-Star team, so that's one. David West made the All-Star team, so that's two. Steph Curry is an All-Star player. Klay Thompson is an All-Star player. Draymond Green is an All-Star player. That's five so far. Kevin Durant is an All-Star player. And DeMarcus Cousins is an All-Star player. Now, obviously, Iguodala... Obviously, Iguodala and um, David West, they aren't All-Stars anymore. But they, they've they made the All-Star team. That means they've been All-Star players. High-caliber players. High-IQ players. That's seven All-Stars on one team. And five active All-Stars. Five active All-Stars and two former All-Stars. So, seven All-Stars in total. Guys, please tell me how that is fair. And how is that the same thing as LeBron James when he only had... Three All-Stars on one team versus seven All-Stars on one team in Golden State. Man, that's pretty much it, man. Like I said, like I said, I'm a Lakers fan. I got nothing to lie about, man. Y'all see the Kobe poster over there. I have nothing to lie about. I've been a Lakers fan for years now. I can tell I can make I can even make a Lakers video if y'all want me to, if y'all think I'm lying. You know what I'm saying? I've been a Lakers fan. And that's pretty much it, man. If you guys are new to the channel. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button, most importantly. You can hit the dislike button if you disagree with me and um, comment in the comment section. That's what I want. I want I want like a conversation about this in the comment section because that's what it was in the last um, comment session. If you're just straight up disrespectful, like just something like, fuck you, then I'm just going to ban you. You get what I'm saying? Don't waste your time commenting something so dumb. Now, if you're saying like, oh, shut the fuck up and you like explain why you said that and it has something to do with basketball, then I'll... I'll argue back with you or like someone else will. You got what I'm saying? It's basketball talk. It's alright. We're not going to sit here and talk like like we're soft or some shit. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of men in the comment section, whatever, kids, whoever it may be. A lot of people are passionate about basketball, so I'm okay with that. But if you're just being straight up disrespectful and you're not even talking about basketball to me, you're getting banned. But like I said, man, that's pretty much it, man. Once again, if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Hit that like button. And comment your thoughts down below, man. That's pretty much it. Lakers fan out of here. J-Rings out of here, man. Thanks for watching.